regular thing you make? This, uh, around this area, most people were farmers. So during peacetime, I'd say farming implements, a lot of household equipment, uh, tools of other trade shops. During the Revolutionary War, the shop was functioning as an armory, so it's doing a lot of gun repair work for the military. Uh, so at that point, it's firearms. But uh, they're repairing them, not making them. What's the biggest thing you make? Depends on how we define biggest, but uh, the longest thing that we ever made was the lightning conductor rod, which is on the courthouse. It's 70 feet long. So it's uh, this size material here, but 70 feet long. I'll give you a comparison. The shop is about 60 feet long. So when we made that, we actually had to knock out some of the siding on the walls in order to uh, make that. How long a day do you work in the blacksmith shop? The 18th century work days vary depending on uh, available daylight. So potentially you can work from sun up to sundown. But I think people in the 18th century probably work roughly about eight, somewhere between an eight and 12 hour work day was typical. What was the average wage you were paid a day? For a journeyman in a trade like this, journeyman's a paid worker, uh, two to four shillings a day was pretty typical about 50 pounds a year. If you own the business, you're the master of the shop, then uh, that's where your greatest earning potential is. So as the master, if you're running a good business, you could be doing quite well for yourself. How hot can the fire be? Like, what's the hottest The fire is when you force an air into it, it's about 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The working temperature of the iron is about 2,500 degrees down to about a thousand degrees there. Are you still hiring people to work here? We do when we have an opening. But we tend to stay here for a while because uh, we like what we're doing. So, you know, myself, I've been here for about 18 years. Um, the master of the shop, he's been here for about 35 years. How many people do you currently have working here? In the blacksmith shop, six. And six is about how many people this shop had um, before the Revolutionary War. And the shop was just doing civilian iron work and employed based off of the letter that we know uh, that survived. There was five or six people that worked at the shop. During the war, the shop grew because of that wartime demand to where there was 40 or 50 people that worked at this business. Would women usually work at the blacksmith shop? Quite or? possibly, yes. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you.